Everyone loves a wedding, especially a big showbiz one. And they don't come much bigger than the union of Brooklyn Beckham and his partner Nicola Peltz. Depending on which source you believe, the ceremony reportedly cost anywhere between four to $20 million. And of course, the name Beckham is instantly recognizable due to Brooklyn's famous parents, David and Victoria. But while Nicola Peltz is known as an actress through her roles in Bates Motel and Transformers, her family may not grab Beckham style levels of attention. So who are Nicola's mother and father, Nelson and Claudia? They rank amongst the wealthiest families in the United States, towering over the Beckhams money-wise like an enormous wedding cake. Let's look beyond the lavish nuptials to see how their world-class fortune was amassed. Nelson Peltz was born in New York in 1942, making him 79 at the time of recording this video. And you'll never guess where in the Big Apple he first entered the world. Brooklyn. His new son-in-law's name must be very significant for him. And now, his father, Maurice, and his mother, Claire, supported themselves with a food distribution business, A. Pelts and Sons. The company had been established by Maurice's father. And while young Nelson appears to have had a relatively privileged upbringing, it was miles from where he is today, a billionaire. So what changed? How did he get so rich? Well, Nelson hit the ski slopes. You see, he dropped out of the University of Pennsylvania Pennsylvania's Wharton School and decided that he wanted to be a ski instructor instead. Did Nelson make his fortune on the snowy peaks? Actually, not so much. Though he did thrive in a chilly environment. A. Pelts and Sons delivered frozen food, and Nelson saw the potential. What started as him earning some extra dollars working as a truck driver for the family business ended up with him at the helm. Before long, Nelson was running the company alongside his brother Robert and his business partner Peter May and he clearly had a knack for it. Within a decade, he took the $2.5 million business and grew it into a public company with a revenue of over $140 million. Along the way, he also started looking for acquisitions. One company he invested in was Triangle Industries, a vending machine company that was valued at around $80 million. 15 years later, Triangle Industries was worth $4 billion. That made Nelson's shareholding very valuable indeed. But when he cashed in, things just kept getting bigger and bigger for him. As the 1990s drew to a close, Nelson and Peter May took charge of the popular drink Snapple, buying it from Quaker Oats. And their new management style certainly turned the business around, because just three years later, Nelson sold Snapple to Cadbury Schweppes for a very healthy profit. How much? Well, Harvard Business School reports that within those three years, the value of the company rose from $300 million to close to $1 billion. And that put Nelson firmly on the road to mega riches. Today, Nelson focuses on his investment fund, which is known as Trian Fund Management. They have stakes in iconic brands such as Heinz and Pepsi. What's the secret behind his success? Well, the Daily Mail writes that he has a, quote, fearsome reputation as a tough-minded corporate raider. Nelson is what's known as an activist investor. In other words, he buys into firms and then takes a proactive stance on how they're run. This doesn't appear to have made him lots of friends. Procter & Gamble and DuPont are two companies that he doesn't get along with so well. Still, his results speak for themselves. As of 2022, Nelson has a net worth of around $1.6 billion, as reported by Forbes. That makes him the 432nd richest man in the States. Does the ruthless cut and thrust bother him? Well, sources state that Nelson has a positive outlook on life and business, so I'm guessing people's opinions of him probably don't bother him too much. I'm sure he didn't decide to be a corporate raider thinking that he was going to be loved. But one group of people who do love him are his family. Nelson's been married three times. He's fathered 10 children, two with his first wife, Cynthia Abrams, and the remaining eight with Claudia Hefner. Claudia was a model who, by all accounts, was very successful in her own right, with an estimated net worth of around $5 million. Their daughter, Nicola Peltz, was born in 1995. 
Both mum and dad must have watched on proudly as Nicola's acting career developed. First, starting with a role in the last Airbender movie, and later developing into a main role in the TV show Bates Motel. But not satisfied with just acting, Nicola has recently moved behind the camera as a filmmaker, writing and co-directing the drama Lola James. And it's probably worth noting that her older brother Will is also an actor. So what was it like growing up with Nelson Peltz as a father? Unsurprisingly, it seems like he expects his children to work hard and maintain a laser-like focus. Quote, My kids are exhausted every day, and I keep them that way. It's gym, ice, homework. They're too tired to get in trouble. Now, hitting the ice is made a little bit easier when you've got your own ice hockey rink within your house, as the pelts do. The Peltz's 27-bedroom New York mansion also has its own flock of rare albino peacocks. So given all the ice hockey practice that he's been able to do, it's no real surprise that Brad Peltz, Nicola's brother, is a professional ice hockey player who plays for Ottawa Senators. As for Nicola, well, she's very close to her mum, and the pair have been pictured on social media where their resemblance is often remarked upon. Nicola met Brooklyn Beckham in late 2019. Like her, he's also interested in the arts. Despite having one of the world's most famous footballers as a father, Brooklyn has focused his attention on fashion and photography. In fact, he reportedly took all the snaps at his own wedding, which took place in April 2022 at one of the Pelts' other homes, their $100 million Palm Beach mansion. The wedding ceremony made headlines around the world, from its hefty price tag to all of the famous guests who turned up. Guests that included the likes of actress Eva Longoria, tennis ace Serena Williams, Spice Girl Mel B, and X-rated chef Gordon Ramsay. But one person who wasn't on the invite list was former President Donald Trump. Now, Trump and Nelson Peltz have quite the history. In fact, not only did they both attend the same school, but Nelson also went on to become a huge political supporter and fundraiser for Donald. But that association came crashing down following the Capitol Hill riots of January 2021. Nelson has distanced himself from Donald Trump ever since, and has even apologized for voting for him. But as much as he might wish to avoid Donald Trump, it appears that that's actually more difficult than it might look. You see, they're also neighbors in Palm Beach. <laughs> that must make for an awkward atmosphere when they inevitably bump into each other. Anyway, in spite of all of the wealth that was on display at her wedding, Nicola took to Instagram with a message concerning the current conflict in Ukraine. Instead of expensive wedding gifts, she requested that her guests should instead make donations to charities aimed at helping Ukrainians. And that is a powerful example of how the current conflict is impacting on even the most privileged of lifestyles. Speaking of being impacted, one Russian oligarch who's been impacted more than most is Sergei Pugachev. He now fears for his life. He's gone from one of Putin's closest allies to Putin's sworn enemy. If you haven't seen that story, I'll leave it on screen for you to check out now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.